Right, it's no longer news that the Academic Staff Union of Universities have extended their uh, ongoing warning strike for another two months. And now Nigerians are asking, why is this? So to give us clarity into why that is, we have the president uh, of uh, ASU, uh, Professor Emmanuel Oshodeke, to, to make clarifications for us and put us in perspective of knowledge at this point. Professor, it's good to have you join me on the program right now. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. Great. Now, uh, Nigerians, we're expecting that uh, the assurances that were given at the middle of uh, the first month of the, of the warning strike, that everything would, uh, would be resolved before the one month ends, uh, it seems that hope has been shattered. Can you make us understand why the, this decision is being made right now to extend by two months? Well, like we said, this issue did start last month. The actually started in 2009. But in 2020, after a prolonged strike, the government reached an agreement with us and a memorandum of action on to do a nine to do nine different uh, uh, things that they have uh, reneged in the past. This have to do with revitalization fund, has to do with promotion areas, it has to do with state universities uh, and academic allowances, renegotiation of our agreement. Uh, the issue we have with um, IPs, deployment of Utahs, among others. And we allow them. And then in, t in May 2021, we signed an agreement with government. We reached an agreement with government, a draft agreement, on, how, on, on a renegotiation of our agreement, which we were expecting government to implement. But unfortunately, that was not done. And a month ago, which is February 14th, we met in Unilag, and they started to embark on a four weeks rolling strike. And we believe that within those four weeks, they will also have addressed this issue, and there is no need for further action in the Nigerian University. We come in the system. But four weeks have passed, and nothing happened. Like you said, we met with the Minister of Labor, and they gave assurances. But that's what they have been doing in the past 13 years. They will give assurance they will not implement. But this is our member say, let's see some action. Let's see what it is you are doing. You have, within these four weeks, you could do a number of them. And none was done. And that's why our members met yesterday after reviewing all these situations. Okay, let's give them another two months, which is four weeks, uh, rollover strike. Hoping that within those four, uh, eight weeks, they would have solved all these problems and will have a permanent peace in the system. That's why we embark on this present eight weeks rolling strike which they can resolve in the next one or two weeks. All right. Uh, if, if at the end, everyone should be optimistic one way or the other, but at the end of this eight weeks, if all the issues are not resolved, what happens? Nigeria should hold the government responsible for why they, they cannot resolve what they signed within eight weeks. And if at the end of the eight weeks, they still refused to they still continue with the way they were doing of making promises without fulfilling them, then you know we meet again, look at all, all the situation and take further action. You know, we are a union that believe in democracy. Our members will look at all the issue and take further action. All right. Uh, w w one more question before I let you go. One of the issues that is contentious is the issue of uh, the UTAS, uh, the payment system. There, there are some reports in some quarters that the UTAS failed some level of integrity test. What do you say about this? Well, they, they, they re in, Ma in March 2021 to review and come back to us. They did come back. To January 2022. That is a, almost 10 months to do a test for a program that took us less than four, year, four months to develop. And when we look at what they sent to us, even based on their report, without look, critically looking at it, the program scored 7% in terms of technicalities. And scored which we which subjected it to. And we were surprised about it. We say that a program that scores seven percent and eighty five percent failed. Meanwhile, these same people are watching IPs, 
that have been in this country since 2006, creating havoc, and they didn't bother to ask the government to subject that IP to a test to see if you will score 10. That okay. is where we have ourselves. I thought that these people, this neither, but a, a, a Nigerian, a Nigerian um, uh, MDA that should be working for the interests of Nigeria. If they have seen even any issue within the, the Utahs, I thought they would have called us so that we sit together and resolve it in the interest of Nigeria. Okay. But what did they do? Why were they doing that with their team? Because we said what they said is not correct, and we are proving it with their team. The leader of the, the head of the NIDA have gone on air to say we failed. Okay. It's all very unfortunate. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Asu uh, President, Professor Emmanuel Oshodeke. Uh, we certainly will keep a tab on, uh, current, on, on ongoing developments regarding this issue. Thank you very much.